Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will look at maximum candies allocated to K children problem which is from lead code number 226. Now good problems to solve after having solved this is lead code number 2064 which is minimized maximum of products distributed to any store and also the first bad version which is uh, 278. Both these videos I have already made and the links will be shared in the uh, description below so you can go ahead and check it out. Let's now read the problem statement. In this problem you are given a zero indexed integer array candies. Each element in the array denotes a pile of candies of size candies at i. You can divide each pile into any number of subpiles, but you cannot merge two piles together. You are also given an integer k. You should allocate piles of candies to k children such that each child gets the same number of candies. Each child can be allocated candies from only one pile of candies and some piles of candies may go unused. Return the maximum number of candies each child can get. Now if you look at example number one, in this case you have let's say three piles. So one pile is having five size, second pile eight size, third pile six size. If I want to distribute the candies between three child, then what I can do is from the pile of size 5 I can actually divide it into two parts in size 3 and 2 and give it to two different people now if one child gets candies from one pile it cannot take it from the other pile as already mentioned in the problem statement so an optimal way to maximize the number of candies for each child will be to assign them different different piles probably so in this case k equals to 3 so the first person can get 5 the second can get 8 and the third can get 6 but we have to equally divide the candies as mentioned that each child gets the same number of candies right so out of all these we will always be selecting the minimum value that means the 5 so i can say that the ch the child one will get 5 candies two will get 5 candies and three candies will be remaining in the pile and the third child can get five candies and one candy will be remaining in the pile okay so that is how we can say 5 is the answer if you had picked 4 then yes you can also assign 4 4 candies if you can assign 5 candies definitely you can assign 4 candies but if you can assign 5 candies then why will you assign 4 candies I always want to maximize the number of candies assigned right now can you assign 6 candies well absolutely not because from the second pile you can assign 6 from the first pile you can assign 6 but from the 0th pile you cannot assign 6 because you just have five candies and a child cannot get candies from multiple piles okay so that is how it works now can you solve the same for four number of children yes it is possible so i'll be showing you in the dry run how to do that now if you look at the second example then in this case we have two comma five and the k value is 11 so can we assign it uh, the candies to 11 children well actually what may happen is you take the first pile and you divide it in maximum you can uh, divide it into two parts because minimum candies assigned has to be one now from this pile of size five you can get five ones right so how many children can get candies at maximum so you can have five plus two which is seven but we are asking to divide equally among 11 children so that is not possible so in this case when it is not possible we will be returning zero so when will the assignment not be possible when the addition of all the candies is actually less than the number of children because we have to do integral assignment okay now if you look at the constraint then the candies length is 1 to 10 to the power of 5 so maximum candies will be 10 to the power of 5 therefore if you consider candies to be n then you cannot write an n square algorithm because that will be 10 to the power of 10 and we should write algorithms which is less than 10 to the power of 8 right so that it runs within one second each of the candies at i value can be maximum 10 to the power of 7 and the k value can be 10 to the power of 12 so the sum of all the candies value can be actually you can add 10 to the power 7 10 to the power 5 times so this will go to 10 to the power of 12 and also the k value is 10 to the power 12 so you have to use 64 bit integer you cannot take the normal integer which is 32 bits right you, you have to take a long integer in this case now having understood the constraints as well let's now look at certain observations 
now if i take an example where i have taken uh, three piles which is 576 these are the candy piles and k equals to 4 that means we have four children to be assigned the candies now a at i that means at least each of the pile will be having one value if you look at the constraint each of the candy pile will be having at least one value right it cannot be zero size pile okay now if you note the first point a child may not get any candy if k is greater than total candies that was already given in this example number two right so i can say that for this particular example if k value is 20 where the sum value here is 18 therefore 18 candies cannot be distributed uh, among 20 children so we will be returning zero for this case so this is uh, let's say a special case now if you can do the assignment then when you can do that when the sum of the candies that means the sum of the array must be greater than equals to k value which is the number of children then each child can get minimum at least if you do the assignment each child can get at least one candy so in this case if i maintain k equals to 18 then each child will get exactly one candy and if i keep the k value equals to one that means there is only one child then the maximum candies that can be assigned will be equals to the maximum of all the piles you cannot merge the piles according to the condition so you have to select only one pile for this one kid and that pile will be the maximum pile which is seven therefore seven will be the answer for for that case okay so these are the two extreme cases the minimum candy assigned is one and the maximum candy assigned will be the maximum of the array which happens when you have one child now having understood our cases if we take the same example with the k value being 4 then what we need to check is will the assignment of zero candy be working well zero candy will always work so this is just a special case i will not be considering it if uh, will one candy assignment work let's see how to check if one candy assignment will work so what you can do is when your candy value is 1 then let's count how many children can actually get the assignment done so when you look at this first pile it is saying size is 5 that means you have 5 candies and you have to assign only one candy right per kid so how many kids can be assigned with this pile 5 kids how many kids will be assigned with this pile 7 kids and and with the third pile 6 kids so if you add it up it will be 18 okay so since this 18 value is greater than equals to k value that means I am sure that if I choose to distribute one candy among each of the children then I will be able to do that okay so this is working for us now if this is working for us then I will be trying to see if I can assign two uh, candies to each of the child and still be able to assign to k number of children how to check that out so again repeat the process you move from left to right and find out the count of children that can be assigned two candies so if you assign two candies from this pile only two children will get it and one uh, candy will be remaining because a child cannot get candies from two different piles okay they uh, they have to get only from a specific pile so i can assign two candies to only two children from pile number zero from pile number one i can do that for seven by two which is for three kids and for uh, this third pile which is pile number two i can assign it to six by two which is three kids okay so the total number of children to whom i can assign this is three plus three six plus two eight now this eight being greater than equals to the k value we can actually make this two assignment okay and be able to uh, give two candies to four kids that is possible if this is possible i will keep incrementing and keep checking if this works for three as well if you check it for 3 then i can assign only to one kid 5 by 3 and two will be remaining here now here i can assign to two kids 7 by 3 and here i can assign to two kids so totally i can assign to five children how many i needed to assign four children so this is also working now let's check for four if you check for four then here i can assign to one child 5 by 4 here i can assign to one child here i can assign to one child so total i can assign to only three children so since i can assign to less than k child so this is not working for us and if you think carefully if i cannot assign four candies 
to each of the children in such a way that i can assign to k number of child then actually any higher value is not going to work for us because if i cannot distribute four candies among k children then how can i distribute more candies like let's say five candies to four children that will absolutely not be possible okay on the other hand if i make the statement that if i can assign uh, three candies to four or more children then definitely i can assign two candies to four or more children right that is always possible so if i can pictorially represent this i was checking linearly on the assignment starting from one candy to two candy three candy and as soon as i cannot assign certain candy number then whatever was last assigned the maximum number of candies assigned will be the answer so in this case three will be the answer right so if you solve by this approach this is your linear approach right this is your linear approach and what we were trying to do here is to find the last tick this is the first bad version problem where you are given consecutive ticks and and after that all the crosses and you are asked to find the first cross mark that is the fast first bad version problem similarly in this case we are asked to find the last tick mark which is just the previous item of the first cross mark right so i think the logic is clear why we have all the ticks on the left and all the crosses on the right okay so try incrementally on the candy assignment and the last candy count that you can assign is the answer and if you follow that then you know if the if the range of this entire value is r where r will be the maximum value of the array that means the maximum size of the pile and n is the number of piles then you will be taking n into r time complexity because for every range value we have to move through the entire number of piles and check how many children can i actually assign right so this is time complexity order of n r now if you look at uh, the conditions here like what is n n is maximum 10 to the power of 5 what is the range of the value it can be maximum 10 to the power 7 to 1 so you can say 10 to the power of 7 so is it going to work if you write an nr algorithm that is going to be 10 to the power of 12 which is way beyond your 10 to the power of 8 so that is not going to work this technique is not going to work okay now if this technique does not work then i can definitely optimize this by saying that if i have to find the first tick mark then i can pick this as the low value this as the high value and i can make use of the sorted nature of this array because what it is saying is all the ones are on the one or are on one side and all the zeros are on the other side so if you take any mid value and if it happens to be zero then you exactly know that your search area has to be on the left side not on the right side because you are searching the last one so your high value can be set to mid minus one and again you find a mid value let's say this is your mid value if this is a set value which is one then you know that all the items on the left hand side must be set so your last one may be this one which you are seeing or it may be on the right hand side so save this index whatever is the index here and move your low to mid plus one and continue to search until uh, you break the condition of low less than equals to high so if you apply this just like we did in the first bad version then you will be able to solve this problem in order of n log r, r time and actually it will work because if you look at the n value which is 10 to the power of 5 the log of r value will be somewhere around let's say 25 okay let's say 25 so what will be the n log r value it will be 2.5 times of 10 to the power of 6 which is way less than your 10 to the power of 8 so definitely this is going to run within one second fine and that is the reason i will be solving this problem by using binary search assignment problem that means binary search on answer in this case okay now let me show you a dry run using the same example on k equals to 4 i know that the lowest value will be 1 and the highest value will be 7 so i'll be assuming an answer which will be 0 because if i cannot do the assignment then i will be returning 0 as an answer as asked in the problem statement otherwise if i can make the assignment the answer will be storing the maximum possible value that we have seen right so in this case the low value is 1 high value 7 and the mid value i'll be calculating as low plus high minus low by 2 just to uh, always maintain that there is no integer overflow in this case the mid value will be 1 plus 
7 minus 1 by 2 which comes out to be 4 now let's see if 4 assignment will work now let's see if I can give 4 candies to each of the child now if you give 4 candies then the first pile can only be assigned to one child and one candy will be left second one will be assigned to only one child third one will be only assigned to one child right you can just divide this by 4 so how many total children were you able to assign to 3 but we had to assign to 4 kids that means 4 is not working and if 4 is not working then I should go to a lower value right so your low will remain the same but your high will become 3 since we are only dealing with integer numbers now your new mid value will be 1 plus 3 minus 1 by 2 which will be equals to 2 now let's try for 2 if you assign 2 candies to each of the child then how many children can you actually assign 2 candies so from the first pile you can give to 2 kids by doing 5 by 2 this can be given to 3 kids 7 by 2 which is 3 and 6 by 2 is also 3 so totally you can give to 8 kids which is greater than equals to the required number of kids therefore 2 works for us now since this 2 is working for us I will be saving it in our answer and I will not be checking for some lower value but I will check for some higher value right because the lower candies will always work so what I have to do is the low value will be made as mid plus 1 which is 3 the high value is already 3 so the mid value will also be 3 so now I will be checking if we can assign 3 candies to at least k number of children so in this case if you assign uh, the first pile you can only assign to 5 by 3 which is only one child this one 7 by 3 2 child 6 by 3 2 child so you can assign to 5 different children which is greater than equals to k so this is working so update your answer again and if this is working that means I will be checking for some higher value so update this low to mid plus 1 your high will remain as same and in this case low became greater than high so this will break the binary search condition and so the answer which will be having 3 will be returned so 3 is the maximum number of candies that you can assign to k number of children in this particular problem which is 4 child right so this is the entire approach and the time complexity is n log r where r is the maximum value of the array and the space complexity is order of 1 let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the candies and the k value so i'm taking the low value to be one the high value to be the maximum element of the array and the mid value now i'll be doing binary search and trying to maximize the candy assignment so i'll be finding the mid value and uh, we will check if we can assign the k number of children with the given mid value the assignment check is given here that we will be counting how many kids will actually be getting mid number of candy assignment so i'll be iterating through all the elements and i'll be just adding the count to element by mid and if the count happens to be greater than equals to k then i can at least assign mid number of candies to k number of children and so we'll be returning true otherwise false if a true is returned that means this particular given value mid is actually working for us so all the lower values will definitely work and so try for the higher value so your low will become mid plus one and that is why low is becoming mid plus one whereas if this mid was not working then everything to the right will also not work and so your high value will be updated to mid minus one and so this is the second case when you are not able to make the assignment okay so once the binary search ends then the maximum candies will be storing the maximum number of candies that you can assign to k number of children equally right so this is the entire solution and i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you